how the Lord has set up life. Um, he set up life for people to be a part of your blessing equation. So you, you must not be stuck and fearful on if one way doesn't work, I'm at a loss. That's not how sowing and reaping works. You know, for generations, people have walked in witchcraft and sorcery because they have said, if somebody doesn't help me, I'm not going to be helped. You know, I'm suffering because they won't help me. That's not how sowing and reaping works. When you sow, God has millions of ways to use millions of different people for your sake. And that's what you always have to remember. So when you in the sowing anointing, you should never move in manipulation as if, if somebody doesn't help you, you can't make it. That's a lie. When you sowing, God has millions of different people, billions of different people that he could pick and use on your behalf. Remember, it then it says, good measure, press down, shake together, running over, shall man give into your bosom. It says, shall men. Men is the multitude of man. Why did Jesus say men? Because Jesus was saying, I'm going to use anybody. So don't be fearful. Don't be nervous. And don't get into manipulation like, if you don't do something for me, I ain't going to make it. No, the father is the one that gives the increase. The father is the one that multiplied the seed sown. The father is the one that give bread for food. Satan could get you in the spirit of hatred if you start looking at somebody on earth as if they don't help you, you're going to be stopped. When you start moving like that, if you notice, you can't walk in love. You can't walk in faith. You can't walk in trust. And you can't walk in rest. That's not how God works. When you are a sower, you qualify for God to speak to people that can open a door for you. You got to recognize that this thing is all spiritual. Sowing is spiritual. Money is spiritual. Money is spiritual. Because why would the Lord walk on gold in heaven? So even gold is spiritual. Gold now on earth is large money. Silver is money, but gold is large money. That's the symbolism. In Haggai 2.8, he said the silver and the gold is mines. Well, silver is a small amount of money. Gold is large money. It's like somebody in wealth, you know, somebody in, in riches. But silver represents money that's on the come up. So when the Lord dealt with silver and gold, that was that day's currency. Now we have money. We have $50, $100, you know, $100,000, millionaire, billionaire. We have all those different type of stuff today. But in the old time day, that currency was dealt with with shekels. And say, some of you all don't understand why there was burnt offerings. What was the symbolism of that? Let me give you a revelation. And some people don't even understand this. When they used to offer burnt offerings, they would use an animal. Now, they would take the animal because according to the, um, the stock market of the old time day, their, their rate of exchange was through trading animals or their animals could produce more animals in which they could sell or they could use as livestock. And it, it, it was a form of provision. So when somebody offered up their animal, they was taking what they could have used for themselves as provision. So when you see in the Old Testament that they would offer up burnt offerings and offer up this and offer up that, they was taking something that they could have used, they could have ate it themselves. But they said, Lord, no, you eat it. They could have took it in and fattened up themselves. But they said, Lord, no, I give this to you. So when you are a sower, you are somebody saying, Lord, I could use this for me, 
but I offer it up to you for you to use it for your kingdom on earth. That person will not live in struggles. He's a covenant keeping God, a promise keeping God, a word keeping God, a blessing demonstrating God. The person that tells God, I'm going to deny myself to make sure that you good will be good. And God will make sure even if he got to deny himself, you be good. You reap what you sow. The Holy Spirit doesn't use just one person. And that one person say no. And now you suffer the rest of your life. That's not how this works. Sowing is you coming into a covenant with God and now the father will use anybody, anywhere, anytime to now demonstrate his reaction to you. That's why I was telling you earlier, it don't take no five, 10 years to get no harvest. You know, sometimes we hear people's story. They be telling us, you know, I've been sowing all my life. I'm still waiting on the promises of God. They lying to you. It's just, they lying to you. Because they don't take God that long to react. Sowing goes into God's nostrils. I want to leave you with this. When you honor in God, it goes into his nostrils. He smells it. It is a fragrance. Now, saints, I want you to catch something. Smells carry a very powerful communication system to the mind. If somebody smells bad, it affects you. If somebody smells good, it affects you. There's people that I have experienced that get happy when they smell something good. It has a major effect on your emotions, your mind. So when, when, when you are sore, you got to understand this. You're emotionally satisfying God. When you are sowing, your seed emotionally satisfies God. Saints, imagine women like to feel emotionally satisfied. Men like to feel emotionally satisfied. Emotionally satisfied. You get that from God. When you are sowing, you telling the Lord, my relationship with you, I want you to know that I'm locked in. Makai, please don't be stupid, man. I'm going to slap you. I just heard the Lord say something to me about you. Something just happened. Huh? The Lord just told me, please, please, please. Makai, just understand, I, I done dealt with a lot of stupid people. Makai, Makai, you on here? Please don't be stupid. God just heard the Lord speak a reward to me that he going to give to you. I just heard the Lord told me a privilege that he about to give to you. <laughs> please, 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 please. While I was on here ministering, I just heard the Lord <laughs> tell me something was about to. <laughs> when you're sowing, you emotionally satisfy God. When you are sowing, you got to be careful that you don't let the devil mess up what God about to bring to you. Don't let yourself become carnal, distracted, weary, offended, and emotionally downtrodden. Keep yourself in excellency so God could see your good works and promote you. Uh, carry, carry, and uh, Christy. Watch this. Last year, Christy sold a seed amount, and it got delayed for three weeks. 
listen to me. I'm about to get off of here. This year, Carrie sold the same seed amount that Christy sold and it got delayed for three weeks. 21 days. Listen to me. Listen. listen. There are certain seeds in the spirit realm that the prince of the power of the air will challenge the seed. Because when you sow in that level, that seed carries a communication that the second heaven can't intervene in your life no longer. There are certain seeds that when you sow it, you communicate to the second heaven, I dethrone all your thrones. See, some of you all don't understand why the devil got you broke. The devil got you broke because the devil know that you ain't got no power to sow no seeds that could hit them up. That's, that's the truth of why people, people believers be broke. Because Satan know you ain't even got the power to sow no hit seeds. Because you're broke. You ain't got enough. You ain't got no power to sow no hit seeds. I'm just telling you why the devil keep restricted money on believers because if you ain't got the power to sow them hit seeds, the second heaven still be circulating in certain aspects. But I want to leave you with this. Both of their seeds came after three weeks. They live in different states, different regions, but same occurrence. Both of them was concerned not fearful, but they sensed the warfare because they urgently sold the seed. Both of them had stories that they felt the urgency to sow the seed. So when they sowed the seed and it got blocked up, it was concerning. But I knew as the dawn of sowing how this thing works. That when you get to a certain sowing rank, all demons know is over.